Hi, I'm Richard Ashford. I'd like to show you how to spin on this traditional spinning wheel. First, let's check the wheel is correctly set up. Check the drive band is not too tight. Then, check the springs on the brake band are just starting to stretch. Sit back comfortably in your chair and relax. Get your shoulders down, feel nice and comfortable. Then, practice treadling clockwise, nice and slowly. Now we're ready to start spinning. Tie a piece of yarn to the bobbin. And thread it around the flyer hooks. And out through the flyer using the threading hook. Have your fiber ready to start spinning. I'm using Ashford Merino Silk. Start treadling clockwise nice and slowly and allow the fibres just to join on to the leader. See how they are just catching on there? Then pinch, pinch the yarn, draft back, slide your fingers up nice and slowly. Pinch, draft back, and slide your fingers up. Then you can feed the yarn onto the bobbin. Pinch, draft back, feed. Draft back, and slide your fingers up here. Then feed the yarn onto the bobbin. It's quite important that the fingers remained pinched so that the twist in the yarn doesn't enter the undrafted fibres. If the twist does come into the undrafted fibres like this, it makes it much harder to pull to draft your yarn. If it does um, become too hard to draft, Stop treadling, untwist your yarn, start treading again. To spin a thicker yarn, draft more fibres. To spin a finer yarn, draft less fibres. It's really important that you keep these fingers pinched while you're drafting. This prevents the twist entering the undrafted fibres. Once the fibres have been twisted, they're incredibly strong. It's this easy. As you're spinning, move the yarn along the hooks to allow the bobbin to fill evenly. The yarn you have spun is called a single and is unbalanced. To make a balanced yarn, you apply two or more singles together. 